proceedings is to announce the outcome of the disciplinary proceedings involving comrades Julius Malema, Ronald Lamola, Pule Mabe, Sindiso Mugakpa, and Kenetswe Mosinopi. <laughs> Firstly, it is unprecedented and untenable for obvious reasons for a person or persons to enter a meeting of the national officials, which included the president and deputy president of both the ANC and the Republic of South Africa without prior invitation and permission. Secondly, the charges against the respondents were properly instituted by the national officials in terms of the ANC constitution. Details are set out in the disciplinary inquiry of Comrade Julius Malema, which is incorporated as part of its findings, and that is on the proper institution of disciplinary proceedings by the national officials. The letter of apology from the respondents was accepted as a mitigating factor. Now, having considered all these factors, the NDC imposes the following sanction. Firstly, the membership of Comrades Julius Manemba, Ronald Namola, Ule Mabe, Sindise Magata, and Kenetswe Musanohi is suspended for two years. But more to follow. The sanction, the sanction, <laughs> the sanction in, uh, as, as read out to you, is suspended for a period of three years and will be implemented if the respondents are found guilty of any contravention, any contravention of the ANC's code of conduct within the set, set period. On the first act of misconduct, the first act related to the respondent repeatedly swearing at a journalist on or about the 12th of July 2011, thereby causing harm to the integrity and reputation of the ANC. The second act of misconduct related to the issuing of a press statement in which inter alia the following is stated, and we quote, the ANC Youth League does not believe that our position on Botswana and the approach is inconsistent with the ANC policy outlook, that if there's anything inconsistent with ANC policy directives, it is leaders of the ANC who associated with imperialist controlled political parties like MDC in Zimbabwe and BDP in Botswana, and further that the ANC Youth League takes a practical program of liberating the people of Botswana from imperialist dominance, and further that the government of Botswana had openly embraced imperialism. The second charge leveled against the respondent was for contravening Rule 25.5i of the Constitution of the African National Congress by behaving in such a way as to provoke serious divisions <coughs> or a breakdown of unity in the organization. The respondent was charged for misconduct for driving a wedge between the spokesperson of the ANC and the ANC officials in a press statement issued on the 2nd of August 2011 and the charge is that he undermined the leadership of the ANC and provoked serious divisions. The NDC is of the view that the respondent, who is currently serving a second term as the spokesperson and a leader within the ANC, should have known better. The NDC is of the view that the interest of the ANC has been severely prejudiced by the misconduct of the respondent. Consequently, the organization's standing in inter-party and international relations has been eroded and the element of trust and the ANC's standing built over the years could take time to heal. I turn now to the sanction. Having considered then all of, all of the above factor, the NDC imposed the following sanction in respect of the two acts of misconduct of which the respondent has been found guilty. Firstly, the respondent's membership is suspended for a period of three years. Pursuant to Article 11.2 of the Constitution of the ANC Youth League, this ruling is applicable to the respondent's membership of the ANC Youth League. The respondent shall vacate his position as a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC Youth League. The respondent has the right to appeal to the NDCA within 14 days.